Creating pillars. First, you need to search Baroque pillar design on Google. Try to choose MoMA two dimensional drawing of the dimensional object. Add a background picture in your scene and orthographic view. Then add a cylinder and select the top vertices and extrude them. While extruding, press S to scale them and try to follow the reference as close as possible. Do same to the lower part of the pillar. Just add an edge loop in middle and scale them and bevel them to have round curves to the edges. To have equal distance edge loops, select the faces and insert it. It saves a lot of time compared to applying individual edge loop at a time. After that, in object mode, apply shade smooth by pressing W. Then add a cube in edit mode and scale it up and scale it down by closely matching the reference. Do the same as we did before. Add an edge loop, scale it up and then bevel it. Then extrude the lower part but this time scale down the added edge loop. You can also create creases with this method. After this, add two edge loops from top orthographic view, scale them down manually on X and Y axis, then bevel them. Then select the border edges and uh, bevel them. Now just select the top faces by pressing C and then I hit I to use inside to create border edge loops. Then add a cylinder to the scene and scale it on Z axis. Then add an edge loop to the middle and bevel it. And then in select tab, choose checker deselect. Then inset it first and extrude it inside for three times to create border edge loops and inset it again. Now just add vertical edge loop to every extruded face and then select them all and scale it on Z axis. Then bevel them and scroll the middle mouse button to create more segments. Then select the top face and scale it down to zero. Do that to the bottom as well. Then add edge loop to make border edge for top and bottom face. In object mode, select the image and press slash to only preview the reference. Then add a plane and position it in edit mode. Then press W to subdivide it and press Alt S to give it a circular shape and inset it. Then select two of its edges and extrude and rotate it. And try to follow the image as close as possible to get better end results. You can also add some edge loops between the extruded path and rearrange the vertices to get more precision. Then add two edge loops following the extruded path. Then dissolve the extra vertices by selecting them and press X to get dissolve edge option. Then select the faces between the added edge loop and inset it. Then extrude it to give depth to it and then select the bottom edge of the spiral and extrude it to the Z axis. Then select the border edges of the spiral and extrude it to give wall depth to it. After that, just add edge loops to create border to get smoother look later. Then just pull the circular faces to give more details to it. After that, just apply shade smooth in object mode and then just add subdivide modifier following the mirror modifier. Then in edit mode, select all and position the meshes opposite to each other. Click apply mirror modifier. Then add mirror modifier again, but this time Check Y axis and X axis position and rotate the model to the border of the pillar. Also scale it if necessary. Then duplicate the mesh and edit mode position it opposite to each other and scale it down and follow the reference picture. Then duplicate it again on 90 degree. I have used error modifier just like in my previous tutorial to position them around to the cylindrical part of the mesh. Watch my previous tutorial to do it easily. Then add a plane in the scene and position it to create center Baruchy. Add edge loop to the center and delete the other two vertices opposite to this edge. Then add a mirror modifier and try to make the edge of this mesh follows the lines of the reference pictures. In this way you have not only good topology but you won't need to take care of the depth of the model as it will be done later. For the upper part, duplicate the single vertices and extrude it and follow the edge flow of the reference. Then extrude it out and in orthographic view, try to follow the edge lines of the reference picture. After that, add edge loops depending on the vertex numbers of the top model and then select both model edges and press Ctrl E and select bridge edges. Then bevel the edges to make a curve between them. Then select the edge loops and deselect the vertices which are at the top border with the top part of the model and pull them out. 
then add edge loops between them then apply shade smooth after that just add subdivide modifier and then from side orthographic view select the bottom edges of the vertices and rotate it with the proportional tool to give curveness to the model then just duplicate it and rotate it on 90 degree you can also add solidify modifier to give correct thickness to it then add a material add ambient occlusion with mix rgb and connect them with the base color change the mix rgb to multiply with slightly yellowish red color increase the metalness to 0.9 and increase the roughness to 0.1 and do the same to the lower part of the mesh this time just plug the ambient to the base color with slight dark shade to it and that's pretty much about it hope you have learned something if you like my tutorial then subscribe and support me on patreon thanks for watching